Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. This region has given you champions two years in a row. Nakuru region, the Great Debaters Contest, Austin Nyambok. And Mariam Bishar, we have a nest of victory girls going versus Menengai High. They're asking whether mobile banking should phase out traditional banking in Africa. <laughs> Proposal number one, you have three minutes. You have to learn the rule of the game and play better than anyone else. This, I would incline to say that this rings with respect to mobile banking. I am Judy Darling from Menengai High School. I stand here to propose the motion, mobile banking will outface traditional banking. You may ask yourself, what is mobile banking? Mobile banking is the provision and availment of banking and financial services with help of mobile telecommunication device. While traditional banking, origin, it's original, it's the original type of commercial banking that handles customers' deposits and made investments to loan and deposits in bank state, balance statements. According to the MAPA's research in 2012, it shows that a third of the banks, when you visit their sites, they redirect you to mobile banking where they offer or render their services. Also, the US Federal Reserve of 2012, the research shows that 21% of the mobile customers had used their banking services to mobiles in the past one year. To my first point, let's take for instance, I am a Kenyan and I have a relative in Southern Sudan and that relative has a real agent for money and in that country they do not have a, a branch of the bank that I use. So what am I supposed to do? I'll use Western Union to send money to them other than going to the bank, then taking the money to another bank, which it takes a long time, isn't it? Also, I'll go to paying of payments of, bank, of bills and school fees. All of us, we know the situation in Africa. We all rush to pay fees at the last minute, isn't it? Even when we are paying bills, it's, it's really criti criticizing the bank's clerks. At lunchtime, you find that the clerks are out, and it's the time that the banks are really congested. So you wonder, how am I to take, how am I to go to the lunch out to the bank, and there are no clerks? But money banking in the mobile phones has enabled us to pay the bills according to our convenience. You can be in your sitting room or your bedroom taking your time. Then you have to pay the bills like the electrical bills, the water bills, the cable bills, and this mobile banking has enabled you to pay the bills. Or am I wrong? Also, as the world, as the world of today, everything is moving towards an electronic way of paying bills. So I should, I should tell my opposers that they should stop with the traditional banking and jump to our side as the to jump to our ship since the whole world is changing its dimension to a digital world. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes for your opening remarks. In front of you stands an ambitious debater all the way from Andesa Victory Grounds inspired by a great American philosopher, Marcus Prowse who stated the real voyage for discovery is not new landscapes, but having old eyes, in that traditional banking services should not be faced out by modern services. First, mod mobile banking. It is the provision and availment of banking services with the help of telecommunication service. What is face out? Face out is wipe out. And traditional banking, it is checking account using financial intermediaries. On to my first point, mobile banking users are at, are at risk of receiving fake messages and scam. All the way in Africa, we have a lot of mobile banking users who usually receive fake messages from people posing to be financial advisors asking for their personal banking 
banking details, like girl ads from my neighbor. She adopted the mobile banking facility lately, and she had a lot of money for university saved up in a bank account waiting to go to the university. And someday, a person called her posing to be a financial advisor. Then what we had next is that all her money was gone. Should I ruin my opportunity to reap the pinnacle of my academic excellence just because of modern banking services? Also, the cost of mobile banking services may appear significant using the compatible devices such as smartphone, smartphones and Blackberries. But mind you, you also require to pay an extra fee, which might be more expensive than going to the bank, depositing your cash, withdrawing your cash, and most importantly, having a face-to-face -face interaction with the person you're depositing or withdrawing your money. Judge Maina, I'm sure you have lived long enough on this ad to must have encountered some mobile banking services that have resulted to more harm than good. In that, we have entrepreneurs all over Africa in that most entrepreneurs use the mobile banking services and in haste, what if he enters the wrong PIN code and the money he wanted to use goes to the wrong person? I'm an African, I have expenses. One day if I wake up and fi find 1.5 billion in my bank account, do you expect me to return it? Fortune knocks once in a month's door and we are Africans, money is life. And on this case, we are talking of situations between the balance of harm and benefits, where, the, where harm tips over to the better side of the equation. And ladies and gentlemen in the house, flips over your brains. Don't, don't get misled by the little benefits my counterparts are giving. Thank you. We'll go to rebuttals now. Proposition, you have three minutes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will start with a quote that says, you cannot use the same level of thinking to solve a problem as you would use, uh, you, uh, when, as you used to create the same problem. These were the words of Albert Einstein. My name is Mwangi Joe, and I stand here proposing that mobile banking will phase out traditional banking. First, I would like to disagree here uh, in the sense of fake messages. I do not deny there are pranksters, there are consters out there. Uh, they shall live to be in existence, day in, day out. However, you will have to agree with me. There is no Safaricom message or M-Pesa message that ever gets into your phone with an unidentified number. They have it identified specifically as either M-Pesa or Safaricom. Therefore, you cannot say that you are easily faked. You cannot say that you can, they can send fake messages to you and yet you are the one who is gullible enough. Also, you have the option of calling the helpline. They will give you information on whether or not what is being said is actually true. Also, during the terms of subscri subscription, they do also advise you to not hand out your information to any unidentified person, especially if you do not know that person and he does not come to you physically in the essence that he or she is wearing uh, or has identified themselves with the mobile subscriber or the service, uh, the banking uh, services. I would also like to disagree with that. As you all know, time is money and thus you cannot tell me that you would overgo, uh, you would let go of two hours and waste two hours queuing in a bank to deposit money, which you could have done the same thing in just a matter of 10 minutes at your own convenience. Uh, also, I would like to uh, bring about the point that when you're using the mobile phone, you are able to, uh, you have a greater security. The phone will always live to be in your hand you have the uh, private PIN number, which allows you to actually be the only one who has it, and thus you're the only one who can access your account, now, uh, your account specifically. Thus, it gives you a convenience of using it at whatever time you wish, and 
uh, without the fear of having being marked uh, as you walk out of the bank. Also, I would have to bring about the concept that they have better interest rates. As a, a study was conducted, Mshwari offers a 9% interest rate on the deposits as seen by, uh, from, uh, uh, from their page, while other banks offer a 7.5% interest rate uh, on deposits. Also, when taking a loan, you see that they, uh, they give you a 7.5 a 7 uh, a four, uh, yeah, it's a 7.5, pardon me, a 7.5 interest rate on the money that you, uh, you, with, uh, you borrow. It's a 7.5, while banks take a 15.46% interest rate. Therefore, I would say that it would be, willing, uh, it would be advisable that you take the risk of having to mo bank through the mobiles, mobile phones as it is the way to the future. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes for your rebuttal. A wise man did say that none of us is free until we learn to gain the courage to act on our own personal initiative. I would like to concur with each and everything that my colleagues have said. However, disagree with everything that my counterparts have said. They did start with saying that mobile phones are much better, but you should note that in our introduction we did say that traditional banking, there is physical financial intermediaries. Should it be known, do you want to act with something that is inhuman or with something that has life? You all have that to your thoughts. They also did say that the phones are much better. What if I am illiterate? Better still, I might not have good vision. What will I do? I will go to the bank myself because I cannot use the phones. Rather, the smartphones that I cannot afford. Need it be said that 21% are using mobile banking? What about the 79%? They are still using the traditional banking. Reason being, they cannot be phased out. It should be noted. They have also said that I can send money to my South Sudan relative via Western Union. What about if my relative in, is in Zimbabwe? What will I do? I will go to the bank, traditional banking. They have also said that I can pay my fees at home. What if I lose my bank slip? I will still be forced to go physically to the traditional banking methods. Mind you, to the bank, I will not use my phone. More so, over lunch time, most students are already parking and heading to school. I do not understand which parent is this late to pay the fees. If you are, you will go pay it physically and send your kid later via poster. <laughs> Moving. There is moving, but not doing away with traditional methods. You will get better, you'll get better methods with mobile phones, but later you will still have to go to the bank. Physically, that is still traditional banking methods. Well, if you did not know about the follow-up activities, about you having, having to get someone who called you and told you that you have won some money. What if I do not know their follow-up activities? I will send the money, I will give out all information. Reason being, I do not know these people who work for Safaricom or Mshwari physically. I even do not know their voices, so I will not tell which one is real and which one is fake. Traditional methods go to the bank physically to confirm. We also have that time is money, but convenience, no. You will lose so much money having to send it to fake people. But why aren't you seeing the amount of time you will, you will use recovering the money that you have lost? You will have to go to the bank, traditional banking methods. It, it also should be noted that I have a phone. What if I lose it? It may fall in the loo. What have I done? I have lost all information. We are Kenyans and Africans. Most of our pins are so obvious. Your date birth, your birth of year, so go to the bank physically. Traditional African methods of banking will never be faced out. Thank you. Hey Isa, can you buy that Mesa through transferring money through the M-Pesa? Or oh, I can use that M-Pesa to pay my fee by transferring Pesa to the bazaar.
Take part in the M challenge by sending your short song, rap or poem about Safaricom M-Pesa on WhatsApp and you could win 1000 shillings in Safaricom airtime. Okay, the proposition have been asked how they deal with the glitches of mobile banking, such as reversing transactions when you send numbers, sorry, money to wrong people. And the opposition have been asked how can traditional banking match up to mobile banking when it's available 24-7, 365 days a year. They'll be responding shortly. <laughs> Proposal number three, you have three minutes. They say the prime virtue of life is courage because it makes all other virtues possible in life. That's why I'm very valiant to stand here as a great debater to propose the motion that says that mobile banking will face out traditional banking. <coughs> First and foremost, I'd like to answer the question from the gentle lady, I guess it's from Bahati. She said that, <coughs> is it that when you send money from the, for the wrong person that you are going to go a loss? What I want to say is that for instance, let's say Safaricom, they are M-Pesa. They are intelligent people who know that these mistakes do happen, right? So before you send the message, there are these questions that you are asked. Are you sure you want to send the message to this number? Yes or no? You click yes. Okay, let's take for instance, you're forgotten, right? Safaricom also are intelligent in this perspective. You can also go to their offices file the complaint, and they'll help you hold back the transaction. So the money that you had early sent to a person can easily be held back, and you get back your money. I hope I've convinced you to the question. Now, I want to ask this question to my fellow posers. They say that you can't send money when all over the world. It's not only, you cannot only use M-Pesa. Wait, he used the, she used the example of South, South Sudan. And I want to correct that, that there are other methods that you can use to send money all over the world, for instance, Western Union. Africans don't like queuing in the banks. Like, really? Who wants to go out there and get the sandbanks? So you prefer staying at your comfort zones and send money? Or would you rather go outside and get the sandbanks? No, we are Africans. When it comes to sending money, Africans prefer to to save time. And when you're using the mobile banking, it means that the service is available all around, that is 24 seven. Rather than using traditional banking, whereby the time is limited, the banks only work at some operational hours. For instance, you can tell me that you can go to a bank at 12 midnight and purchase the money or transact money, but through mobile banking, all the time you can be able to transact your money. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes to respond to the audience. Maureen Onjiko from the Anesta Girls Victory to oppose this motion. First, I will want to answer the question that was asked by my friend. I want to tell you that when this, yes, they do offer 24-hour services, but the times you're told network failure, the other time you're told some, some phones are not even connected to this to these applications. Some of them even ha don't have, a, their phones do not have charge. So how will they be able to assess these services? Hope I've answered you. First, are you happy when your brothers and sisters graduate yearly to the university with the hope to venture into a field that will be able to help them cater their, their life? See the number of the youths who do not have who do not get a job, like accountants, sales managers, who will not get a job just because you faced out this traditional banking in Africa. Also, some mobile devices like smartphones and tablets are better suited for mobile banking than old mobile phones which are limited to other applications. I have a phone that does not, can only give me information on deposit, on my balance, but with a smartphone, with an iPhone, I'm able even to, 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 to check my, my check on this. Point of correction to my friend. You say the banking that you pay fees through mobile phones, but I beg to differ with you. Which newsletter has ever been written? Pay on this mobile phone online. 
it is always written pay on traditional banking in Africa like equity, family bank or KCB. We also have advantages that come with traditional banking. These are sponsorship. Farmers are, farmers are also earning, are only also benefiting from this. We get sponsorship for our children, like the wings to fly. If it was not for traditional banking in Africa, this will not have happened. Thank you. We'll now hear final submissions. Proposers, you have one minute. It is in conclusion that I would like to suggest that despite something having to be new does not mean you should all discriminate against it. Everything new, or rather everything in this universe has its advantages and disadvantages. If you use the theory of the greater good, you would realize that if the good things in a certain item outweigh the negativities of the same item, then you would realize that it would be better to just use, the sub, uh, to use that thing and in this reference, with reference to this case, it would be the banking services uh, rendered through the mobile phone. Then you would realize that it, it poses more advantages. Does it have its risks? Yes, it does. However, what in this life does not have risks? Should it, is life not made more interesting by the risks you take? Therefore, I would like to urge you that it would be better if you considered both the advantages and the disadvantages. If the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, then I would say you are headed in the right path. Thank you. Opposition, you have a minute as well. My mother gave birth to me. She has always been with me. She impacted values that day in, day out, I walk with. But what values did she impact? Those that are disadvantages, I dropped them. Those are at, that are to the advantage of the people, I walk along with them. Should be seen. Traditional banking methods gave birth to mobile banking methods. So mother does, mother does not die. And if she dies, the qualities she impacted always walk with the baby. So traditional banking methods will always live in mobile banking methods. As I asked again, what if I am illiterate? Africans we are, we are so hardworking. So I do not see anyone, any, or any African who will feel the pinch of spending time in the bank only because she wants comfort, she, he wants comfort. That is not the Africa we are in because we are so hardworking. I also did, I also did want to correct the third, propos the third proposer, she said that what if my relative does not use Western Union? She's the one who brought about the South Sudan issue. She should listen to what her fellow colleagues do say. I mentioned my Zimbabwean relative who does not know Western Union or m -Pesa or m -Shwari. Thank you. Judy? As usual, when you begin, it's always nice to begin with definition of terms, and you did a good job of that. You cited the sources very, very well. Um, and I know there was a bit of slang that was used at one point, and you're aware that is a no-no, but you really had some good ideas. For Mwangi Jo, you have a strong voice. need to be a bit more passionate, especially when you're coming forth for the rebuttal. Orina, you do have strong debating skills, and you answered the questions appropriately. Uh, but we need to be a bit careful when we say, we as Africans stand in the sun and we don't want to get sunburned. I'm just wondering, which banks are these? I thought we have banking halls. You must know which ones. So maybe that should have also come out clearly. All the best to the two teams. Vanessa Victory, Lois, I think I love your presentation anytime you speak, and I like your attitude in your presentation, and I like the refrain that you always have in your presentation, especially this time on the aspect of traditional banking. But the question is, if you lose your phone, can't you receive the transactions, transaction information? I believe there are other ways you can use to retrieve that particular information, only that it could be tedious and even cumbersome. Nonetheless, a good debater. But what if you looked at it this way? Mobile banking without face traditional banking and you say no 
it will not outface traditional banking. Instead, it will complement traditional banking. Possibly it could, have, it could have been a better way of looking at it that could have boosted your team a little. Nonetheless, it was a fair attempt at looking at the motion. Menengai High School, the judges awarded you with 64.5%. Anesta Victory Girls, the judges awarded you with 67%. Hearty congratulations to Anesta Victory Girls and all the best in the future to Menengai High. We'd like to thank all of you for tuning in and watching. And of course, our gratitude goes to Safaricom M-Pesa and to KBC Channel One. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Great Debaters EA and find us on all our other social platforms. I have been your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yumbok. Catch you next time. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom Mpesa.